No. No way. Even if what you're saying is true, I can't agree to this. I'm on neither. It's not much of an escape plan if we gotta leave someone behind. It's only a good or bad plan if there are other options to compare it to. But that's not the situation we're in right now. I doubt you'd still be stuck here if anyone had a better idea. B but can you be certain that your plan will work? I cannot. What is wrong with you? You can't bet your life on something if you don't even know it's gonna work! It's not worth it! To conclude, I'm not agreeing to this plan. What if I told you? This is my last will. You? <sighs> That's your strategy, huh? No offense, but we have no guarantee this plan of yours will succeed, or even that it's safe. You said it yourself. Yakshas pose a danger to humans. You really expect us to accept your self-righteous plan just because you say so? The battlefield is a treacherous place. Every opportunity you take, you put everything on the line for. If you fear sacrifice and failure, you can never be victorious. I've been in my fair share of treacherous battles, so I know full well that you never bring up extreme measures like this until the very, very end. <laughs> you say these things in the hope that we will understand and accept them, but if you don't even know that your self-sacrifice is going to pay off, all you're doing is hurting morale. Besides, if you were really so determined to end it all, you wouldn't have given us the opportunity to share our opinions. You think you're oh so cold and ruthless, but I'm not buying it. And anyway, losing one of us so the rest can escape? <laughs> Some victory that is. Yelon, don't be so harsh. <sighs> Point is, it's not time for drastic measures yet. It's possible there's a hidden passage leading to the exit that we just haven't discovered. What if there isn't? Or if we don't find it? And in the end, I'm so weak that I don't have the strength left to sacrifice myself. What do you propose we do then? As things stand, there's no difference between sacrificing you and trying to find another way out, in terms of the likelihood of success. If we can't say that one strategy is better than the other, we certainly shouldn't be rushing into a risky course of action. Did someone say a strong enough strike can break us out of this place? Yeah, that's right, I heard ya. No one's staying behind to let anyone else out, alright? Enough talk. It's time for action! Come on, whatever you are! Let's see how long you manage to keep us trapped in here after I'm finished with you! Uh, easy now. Have a taste of this! Uh, uh, whew, okay, so I didn't tear the whole place down. <coughs> but check it out, new path. <laughs> if you need a hero, I'm the man for the job. Should have seen this coming. Why do you always have to do things like this? Shinobu... What happened to Ito? Did he pass out? <coughs> the boss used up all his strength in one punch. Maybe that's the reason he managed to tear open a passage. <sighs> Let me see if there's any way I can stabilize it. He did this because he heard us arguing, right? The thing with Boss is, he just can't stand conflict between teammates. 
Whenever we get into an argument in the Arataki Gang, he always goes and does something shocking to calm everyone down. <sighs> Today, he's done it again. He may not have known you for very long, but when he said he sees everyone as part of the same team, he truly means that. Mm. Another thing with bosses, he hates it when other people sacrifice themselves, but he always seems to end up doing it himself. That said, there's a slight distinction to be made with him. When he does things like this, he doesn't really think he's sacrificing himself, because he genuinely believes that he's strong enough to defeat any obstacle he's facing. Giant eagle alert! And wasn't he just doing the same thing Xiao suggested? <sighs> so stupid. The boss is hardly open to persuasion. Besides, he always acts without thinking. There's no doubt that he really thought he was about to solve everything in one hit. Ugh, it's not just him either. The other guys in the Arataki gang are more or less the same. That's why they need someone like me to clean up after them. I couldn't stop him if I tried, so I might as well just let him do his thing. Besides, often his harebrained intuition is surprisingly on point. We might punch our way out of here yet. Uh, Ito... Please tell Paimon you're okay. I'm sorry. Don't be. You have nothing to apologize for. Both you and Yelan made some very good points. Still, if this was an Arataki gang issue and you were one of our members, I have to say I'd side with Yelan on this one. The boss definitely wasn't sacrificing himself. He firmly believed that we'd be able to find a way out through the passage he opened up, and he's certainly not expecting to be left behind. Everyone's important. We have to support each other if we're going to get out of here. Your survival is of huge importance to some people. Uh, no, to a whole lot of people. Aww, Shinobu. Everyone, let's all do our best to try and find a way out. There's still a chance. I'm sure we can escape. Leave the boss to me. Don't worry. <sighs> Everyone, it seems this passage doesn't lead to the outside world, but deeper inside. What the? So Ito's efforts were in vain? No, it's still worth exploring. I'll go and take a look first. Aha, uh -huh, I see. I'm with you. Uh... What? So far, I still haven't found the thing I came looking for. That magical device, remember? If this domain has the power to project our imaginations or the things we're searching for into reality... Well, maybe I can use that to my advantage to track it down. Oh, right! No wonder she keeps telling us to keep going. If it's a magical device, it must be super powerful. Well, I can't guarantee that, but it's worth a try. I will find a way.